morning to one and all present here. Prayer is not overcoming God's reluctance by but laying hold of His willingness. Martin Luther. Now we shall start the prayer by invoking God's blessings for which I request Mrs. Kavya Caroline for the uh, for the opening prayer followed by scripture reading by Mrs. Kavita A. The designer and maker of the universe. Thank you for another beautiful day that you have added into our lives. As we have gathered here today, we humbly come before you, seeking your divine guidance and blessings for a successful event. Praise you for this event and your purpose for it. We thank you for those gifted with creativity and technical skills who are dedicated to finding better ways to live and manage a world. Infuse the works of these young creators with authenticity and creativity. Please grant great wisdom and insight to use robots and artificial intelligence for the good for all. We pray that robots and artificial intelligence always serve mankind and the future advances should be oriented towards respecting the dignity of the person. May this exhibition touch our hearts, spark conversations, remind us the power of epochal change to move, inspire and transform lives. We pray for all the teachers and parents. Bless them with good health and wisdom. Lord, we also pray for our principal and manager. Fill them with your strength and equip them in every way with the wisdom that they need. We ask in all this, Jesus' precious name. Amen. Today's Bible reading is taken from Proverbs, chapter 10, verses 1 to 5. A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish son grieves to his mother. Ill-gotten treasures are of no value, but righteousness delivers from them. The Lord does not let the righteous go hunger, but he wants the craving of the wicked. Lazy hands make a man poor, but diligent hands bring wealth. He who gathers crop in summer is a wise son, but he who sleeps during the harvest is a disgraceful son. This is the word of the Lord. Now I request Ms. Mithali to come forward for the welcome speech. Good morning, esteemed Principal Ma'am, Ms. Angel Mary, honorable teachers, dear parents, fellow students and all those gathered here today. We are thrilled to welcome you to the Innovent 2.0 Robotics Exhibition, a remarkable showcase of innovation and brilliance in the field of robotics. Allow me to take a moment to acknowledge our esteemed fortunately due to unforeseen circumstances. She may not be here to are able to join us today. However, even in her presence, we are want to uh, express our deep appreciation for her visionary leadership. Our absence, manager has played a pivotal role in steering our institution towards success. Her leadership skills, dedication and commitment for excellence have been instrumental in the development and success of our school. Although she may not be here physically, we want our heartfelt gratitude to our manager for her unwavering support and guidance. We will, we will make sure that she receives the bouquet later as a token of our appreciation. Now, turning our attention to our guiding force, this is Angel Lady, our beloved principal. She is not just an administrator, but she is the embodiment of wisdom, shaping the vision of our educational institution. Mrs. Angel Lady has fostered a positive learning environment, inspiring both students and teachers alike. Her dedication and passion have been crucial in the overall success and development of our school community. May we request our principal ma'am, Mrs. Angel Mary, to kindly stand and receive the okay as a symbol of our gratitude. Thank you, Natali, for the wonderful speech. Good morning to all the esteemed guests. It's an absolute thrill to welcome you to the dazzling spectacle of ingenuity. Innovent 2.2, where the brilliance of Baldwin Co Education Extension High School students take center stage. A special good morning to each and every soul gracing this event with their presence. Your enthusiasm is the extra spark that makes this gathering truly exceptional. Thank you for being a part of this celebration of innovation and hard work that has unfolded over the past few weeks. What you are about to witness are not just projects. They are expressions of creativity, dedication and unwavering passion for the extraordinary. From cutting edge technology to, 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 to sustainable models, the array of projects on display showcases the diverse skills and talents our students bring to the table. In our, in our fast paced world, 
where change is the only constant, preparing for a future becomes paramount. The way we navigate through life is intertwined with technology, and today's exhibition highlights the pivotal role of robotics. Internet of Things, coding, and innovation in unlocking boundless possibilities for us. Think of these subjects as keys to success in the 21st century, essential for cultivating creativity, problem-solving powers, and skills that are hot commodities in the current job market. Beyond that, they nurture teamwork, collaboration, and critical thinking, modeling individuals into well-rounded assets for the future. Picture this. Robotics, Internet of Things, and coding as getaways to hands-on experience, enabling students to apply their knowledge in real-world scenarios. Through robotics, they not only build and program robots, but also delve deep into earning uh, their problem-solving and technical skills. Internet of Things unravels the mysteries of connected devices and the impact of the internet on our daily lives. Coding, the language of the future, equips students with the logic and structure needed for the digital literacy and opens door to future job opportunities. Innovation isn't just a buzzword, it's the driving force behind progress. By nurturing an innovative mindset, students gain the ability to think outside the box and conjure upon the ingenious solutions to real world challenges. So, as you embark on this journey through our exhibition, don't just be a spectator, become an explorer. Ask questions, engage with our brilliant students as they unveil their masterpieces and witness firsthand the convergence of passion and potential. Today's exhibition is more than a display of projects. It's a testament to, uh, to the formidable power of innovation and the undeniable potential our students have to leave an undeniable mark on the world. Once again, thank you for gracing us with your presence today and we hope you relish every moment of this extraordinary exhibition. Dear audience, thank you. Dear audience, now we are going to witness an innovative way of lighting the lamp through the robotic lamp, which is a sleek blend of modern design and technology. all my dear students, staff and present, parents present over here. I don't have any words to speak. The exhibition is arranged so well that it shows, it reflects in your face, your talents, your creativity. So I'm so happy to see you all to bring your talents in the form of this robotics exhibition. So why this robotics is needed in educational field in this younger age? Is you are the future. So you are the future robotics. Correct? So educational robotics plays a transformative role in children's education because beyond teaching them technical skills, it also helps them develop various trans transferable skills applicable to any field such as logical thinking, problem solving, creativity and teamwork. Robotics for kids allows children to learn STEM concepts in an hands-on environment. They learn how to program, design and make their own robots. Robotics offers an educational tool for kids to think out of the box. Many times, kids have ideas of what they dream to create. Robotics makes those dreams come true. So this is very important in the field of education. I thank Yogesh, the proprietor of uh, this uh, robotics classes and all the robotics teachers, I would like to call them in front of here. Robotics teachers, yes, both of them should come, both, both, all. Because your hard work speaks today, your efforts, hard works put in so that our children can exhibit such a wonderful program or such a wonderful exhibition of robotics. So I would like to call all the robotics teachers. Fayaz Yogesh, come this side, friend. The applause. I wish all of you. Now I request our dear principal to please look at all the projects and... 